So let's take a quick look at function notation and what, what it means. So if I have this f of x equals 3x plus 2, got a couple pieces going on here. First off, the x itself. This is just a placeholder. That's my input. And then f, the f itself, stands for this procedure of going 3 times the input plus 2. So you can think of it as f is the name of the machine, x is the input, and when we output something, it's f of x. x has been run through the machine f, and we have some output. So for example, if I were to say f of, oh, look at that pen, f of 5. Now this doesn't mean f times 5. It means you're taking 5 and you're plugging it into this machine, which we've called f. And the machine goes 3 times whatever the input is plus 2. And we do that calculation. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2. It puts out 17. So f of 5 is 17. Right? Notice if we went f of 0. Plug in 0 into that machine. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. Right? F of input equals output. Similarly for this G, we could name a machine G if we wanted. Let's go G of 10. This is saying take 10 and plug it into this machine, which we've named G. The machine is 1 half times input minus 7. So if I plug in 10, it's 1 half times input is 10 minus 7. So 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Again, this statement is saying, I took the number 10, I plugged it into the machine called G, and it spit out a negative 2. Now, there could be times when I'm asked to uh, maybe deal with something else. Like, what if I said F of X um, was 32? Notice that what this is saying is I plugged X into F. And it spit out 32. In other words, when I go 3 times input, which is x, plus 2, I get 32. So notice what I'm asking you to do is run the machine backwards. When we're running this machine backwards, we're solving. When we're running the machine forwards, we're evaluating. So I could solve this little bit of algebra skill, subtract 2 from both sides. 3x equals 30. Uh, divide by 3 x equals 10.